it is time for the big one. It's the national championship game between Houston and Oregon, number one seed versus number two. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the matchup, and then we'll get into the game highlights. Here's our matchup for the national championship game against the Oregon Ducks. Pretty evenly matched. They've got the uh, overall rating advantage, uh, but in terms of stats, we're pretty even. Um, they've got a slightly better passing offense than we've got, but we've got the better rush offense. Uh, let's just jump into the game and try to win it. It's the national championship here in season three. It's Oregon at number two, Houston at number one. We're at State Farm Stadium in uh, Glendale, Arizona, I believe. And this is going to be our toughest test of the season, I think. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into the game highlights. Our ball first. Actually, first play from scrimmage here. Play action. Coley hits Matt Burns on the left sideline. He gets the first down. 12 yards on the play. Third and three later in the drive. Handoff up the middle. Campbell. Is able to get five on the play and move the chains, keeping this drive alive. Second and short, Coley looking, rolling out right. Can't find anybody, going to take it himself. Cuts it back outside and makes a man miss. Gets close to the 20-yard line there for five yards. Going to move the chains again. Third and one later in the drive, handoff up the middle. Campbell cuts it back inside, trucks over a guy, and gets into the end zone for a big 12-yard touchdown. And we're going to get on the board here first on our opening drive, 7-0. Next drive for Oregon, Fry finds Herbert on the right side for 15 yards and a first down. Gets just enough to move to change there. Second and nine for Oregon. Over the middle to Lynn. He's got a big hole. He makes a, makes a big play there for 23 yards. Cross midfield. Second and seven, Fry to the left. Finds Troy Franklin on the left side. Gets a big stiff arm and takes it in for a first and goal around the eight yard line. Couple plays later, it's third and goal. Can we get a stop? Toss play out left. Line seals the edge, and he's going to get in for the touchdown from a yard out. They're going to tie the game here at seven. Late in the first quarter, next drive for our offense. Coley drops back and goes across the middle, but he overthrows it. But Carnes comes back out of nowhere and grabs it. That pass was intended for Donato, but Carnes was um, staying alert on the play and grabs the catch for the touchdown. Huge play there for our offense. 14-7. Still late in the first quarter. Handoff up the middle to Irving. He breaks it outside. He's got one blocker, and he's going to get the block down the left sideline. I don't think anybody's going to catch him. And no, nobody's going to get him. He's going to get him for the touchdown. I think 80 yards on that play. Huge run for Oregon immediately after our big touchdown. It's going to be 14-all. Still first quarter. Handoff up the middle to Brandon Campbell for 12 yards. He gets the first down. Out across the 40. Third and four, Coley drops back, hits Brandon Campbell on the screen, but he gets stopped up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It's going to be fourth and four, and we're going to punt this ball away. And look at Moses Alexander. He makes it all the way down the field and catches that punt around the eight-yard line, pinning Oregon back on their next drive. First play of the drive, pass over the middle to Herbert. He gets out across the 20 to about the 24, gets the first down. Next play, first and 10. Fry drops back all the time in the world. He actually escapes the pocket there, breaks it out left, and gets just enough for another first down. Third down and eight, trying to get a stop here. Fry is going down the left side to Jared Lynn. He hauls it in on the sideline. Gets the feet down, and that's another first down. Next play for Oregon, Fry scrambling again. He breaks it out right, cuts it up the middle, and gets slung down close to the 30-yard line for 15 yards on the play. They're uh, driving all the way down the field here, but on first down, he's going to go down for the sack. Garfield Lawrence just adding on to that NCAA single-season sack record. Third, <clears throat> excuse me, third and nine. Pass over the middle to Jared Lynn. Gets stopped for a 12 yard after a 12 yard gain. Fry still perfect on the day at six for six. Third and 13, he's going to stay perfect. Gets it to Troy Franklin. He's got a first and goal down near the five yard line. Next play, handoff Whittington to the right side breaks a tackle and he's going to slip into the end zone for five yard touchdown there. Taking the lead, 21-14 late in the second quarter. We're going to go down the field and see if we can tie this game up before halftime. 
Option handoff to the fullback, Fred Lawrence. He powers his way forward for 11 yards. Move the chain there. And uh, that's going to give us a new set of downs. Coley drops back on second and two. He's going to go deep there for Dalton Carnes, who grabs it, but the defender knocks it loose. That's going to be incomplete. Going to bring up third and two. Option keeper for Coley. He's brought down way back in the backfield for a loss of three. Oregon's going to take a timeout. It's fourth and five. And they've got all the momentum right now, so we're going to come out here and go for it, try to make something happen. Near midfield, and he finds Matt Burns deep out, deep down the right side. He breaks a tackle with a stiff arm. And just like that, we're in the red zone, and the momentum is shifting back towards our side. We're going to run down some clock here, trying to leave them with no time left before halftime. Coley gets about 10 yards on the play, and that clock's going to keep running. Second and short next play, handoff up the middle to Brandon Campbell who trucks his man and gets in for a four-yard touchdown with 29 seconds left on the clock. Tie ball game, Oregon going to see if they can go down and get a score here, but Fry's going down for the sack, and they end up just running the clock out from this point. We're going to take a 21-21 uh, score to the half. Both teams trying to break away, but... The offenses are prevailing at this point. Second and eight for Oregon on their first drive. Fry somehow escapes the pocket and gets down the middle for about nine yards and a first down. Third and five later in the drive. Fry drops back. He throws it over to the left side. Hudson's wide open, gets a block. One man to beat. He's not going to beat him. He gets down around the 30-yard line. But Judd Fry is still perfect on the day. Nine for nine at this point. Deep pass to the end zone. Hudson can't get, keep the feet down inbounds. That's going to make it fourth and eight. Oregon's going to take the three points here to go up 24-21. Middle of the third quarter. Next drive for our offense, third and 14. Coley drops back, goes over the middle to Matt Burns, who's going to be brought down about a yard short of the first down. National championship game, you know we're going for it. Hand off up the middle, Brandon Campbell is able to get plenty of yards there to get the first down. And we're looking good on fourth down conversions at this point. Next play, first and ten. Find Carnes on the uh, curl route there, who's brought down by a couple of Oregon defenders. Next play, play action. Coley out right to Matt Burns. Big day for him so far. 15 yards on that one. Moves the chains, gets us closer into field goal range. Brandon Campbell up the middle on the next uh, couple plays later. He's going to get eight yards. Going to give us another first down. <laughs> First and 10 here, Coley on the option keeper. Going to truck his man down to about the two-yard line. That's going to set us up with a first and goal. Next play, Coley over the middle to Manjack. He hauls it in for a three-yard touchdown. And we're going to take a 28-24 lead here late in the third quarter. Next drive for Oregon. Screen pass over to Hudson. He grabs it, makes a man miss, gets a block. Down for a gain of 13 yards on the play. Later on, cross midfield, third and five, pass over the middle, and Lynn is going to haul it in for a 10-yard reception after a broken tackle. And Oregon moving the ball once again. Fry on third and nine goes over to the right side and finds Herbert tied in for another reception for him. 15 yards on the play, and Oregon is in the red zone at this point on the 20-yard line. Fry on the draw play, handoff to Irving, who cuts it back, makes a man miss, and gets in the end zone. 20-yard touchdown run. Oregon takes another lead here, 31-28, early in the fourth quarter. Next drive for us, Coley option pitch out to Donato, who gets a couple of blocks. Breaks it out to the left and down the left sideline. He may be able to go all the way, and he is. He makes a man miss, turns on the Jets, and goes for 72 yards on the play. Touchdown is going to give us a 35-31 lead in the fourth quarter. Pass over to the left sideline for Oregon is going to be complete to Troy Franklin. They're going to be across midfield here. Fry looking on third and 12, going deep down the left sideline, and Moses Alexander overruns it. Not able to recover, and they are going to have a big touchdown there late in the fourth quarter to go up 38-35. Two and a half minutes left. This is pr pretty much our last chance on offense to go down and try to either force overtime or hopefully be able to get the win. Clock ticking down. It's third and short. Handoff to uh, Brandon Campbell. 
He picks up five yards, gets it down to about the 40-yard line. Going to be a first down. Minute and a half left. Coley lobs it up to Matt Burns, who hauls it in over the shoulder and gets down to the 11-yard line. And we're in a great position now to try to go down and win this game. Under a minute left, handoff up the middle, Brandon Campbell. He's going to get down to about the three-yard line on the play. It's going to be second and two, clock running down. Can we get into the end zone and win this national championship? Brandon Campbell gets the perfect blocks, and he gets in. And we're going to take a 42-38 lead here with 12 seconds left on the clock. That might have just been enough to, to uh, put Oregon away. Eight seconds left. Wide receiver screen over to Jared Lynn. We shut that one down pretty quick. Only a gain of one, and they're going to have one last chance to heave one down to the end zone. With no time left on the clock, launches it deep, and we are able to bat it down. And we just clinched the national championship for the second season in a row. Doing the unthinkable here in Houston. Our team looks virtually unstoppable, and, you know, we basically were unstoppable because we won the playoffs. We won out second straight undefeated season, and this is something that might never be recreated. 32-0 and in our last two seasons, and we're going to get to hoist the crystal football once again. Going to let you guys sort of watch the rest of this celebration. Really evenly matched in terms of stats. This was basically a game of who gets the ball last. Oregon 10 of 11 on third downs. Just unreal. No turnovers in the game. Pretty clean game. And here are the new records that we have set here in Season 3. NCAA record for single season sacks. Garfield Lawrence breaks uh, Derek Thomas's record of 27. He gets 31. Coley sets the record for all-time um, individual season QB rating, 221.2. Brandon Campbell is going to set the Houston uh, single season rushing yards record at 2054. Uh, breaks Parker Jenkins' record from last season. Parker Jenkins is going to take over for the career rushing yards school record. Brandon Campbell takes over the single season uh, rushing touchdown record, uh, breaks Parker Jenkins record from last year. Parker Jenkins <laughs> breaks the rushing touchdown school record for a career at 52. And Garfield Lawrence is going to get the single season sack record, obviously, for Houston. And that's going to do it for season three, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much once again for going along this journey with us. Um, two straight national championships it's hard to uh hard to beat that undefeated two straight seasons i think it's safe to say after steamrolling through our entire uh schedule this year uh, i'm gonna work on tweaking some sliders and increasing the difficulty and we may or may not end up at a new team for season four uh, so a lot of changes to come for the next season so stay tuned for that we will see you guys tomorrow for the off season